Right now, two teens are in the hospital after they suffered serious injuries in a snowmobile crash. The family of one of the boys saw the accident happen and heard his cries for help. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Woods. The boys were crossing the road in Hooksit when a van hit them, sending one of the teens airborne. WMUR's Mike Cronin spoke with one of the boys' family. He joined us now live in Hooksit. Yeah, Stephanie, this family is just thankful that their son is alive tonight. Both of these boys are 13 years old, and police say that they do have their snowmobile certifications. They were wearing helmets, and they did have adult supervision. Police are calling this an accident, which could have been much worse. The two teens were crossing Whitehall Road when they collided with a van before 2 o'clock this afternoon. Police say because of the curve in the road and the height of the snowbank, neither of the drivers saw each other. They were leaving the home of one of the boys to go ride on some trails, and his family witnessed the crash. They say their son suffered a broken collarbone and leg, fractured rib, and bruised lung, while his friend also has a broken leg. They are obviously shooken up over this accident. It's uh, very emotional, you know, it's, you know, you don't know whether you're so, you see your son laying there and at first you don't know if he's alive or, you know, expired, but, uh, you know, thank God he's alive. I was sad, like, it was scary seeing my brother like that. Right now, especially with all the snowfall that we've had, if you guys are out on snowmobiles and for the vehicles traveling down the road, just be aware that the snowbanks are very high and you're not going to see people, even regular cars coming and going from driveways. This really has been a scary couple of weeks for this family, the Ranlets. They uh, have another son who was in a snowmobile, a snowboard accident rather on Mount Sunapee recently, and he had to be airlifted from there. Live in Hooks at Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.